Hello, my name is David, and I want to create my first YouTube video um, about doing overdubbing in the software uh, digital audio workstation program, which is free, free download, installs very easily. Um, once you get the program installed, uh, you want to create your first track. So I will kind of show some screenshots of how to do that. Although this is not a tutorial on how to use Audacity, it is more of a uh, tutorial on how to do overdubbing, which seems to be um, an issue with certain programs unless you have full, uh, a full, fully licensed uh, recording package like Pro Tools or Anything, you know, there are a number of other recording packages, but if you don't have the right hardware, it can be very difficult after you record that first track in order to record sub subsequent tracks uh, overdubbing. So, in this YouTube video, if I can actually get the words out, I'm going to explain to you how I found a workaround, and it works really well for a single musician. It would not work well for duo, trio, or beyond that, um, at least not at this point. So, first thing you do, you have to have a, an input, uh, like a microphone, and you can see my Blue Yeti right here, except it's actually black, but it's blue, that's the name, if you don't know, and Yeti is the model. Anyway, I have my Tascam headphones plugged in to this microphone. So I go up and I start a track in Audacity and I play one track. I can use the guitar, I can sing, or whatever it is I want to do to lay down that first track. Well, when you want to overdub and do a second track, there's where the problem lies. How do you monitor that first track or those first two tracks or those first three tracks and then play along a new track being recorded? Um, that's very difficult to do, but the workaround I found is this, and it works really well. So after you record that first track, then what you're going to do is remove one side of the headphones, just like this, and unplug the headphones from the microphone. As you can see here, there is a place for the headphones to plug into the bottom of the microphone. That's a really cool thing. And on top of that, with my computer speaker, hopefully you can see this, there is uh, an input for headphones. It's a headphone jack. So when you plug your headphones into that jack, it mutes the sound coming out of the speaker. And there's, there's, the, the ma there's where the magic happens. So now I can reference previously recorded tracks and I can then hear additional, an additional track that I'm recording. Uh, it's picking it up through the mic, whether I'm playing guitar, whether I'm speaking, singing, what have you. So that really works well and doesn't cost you an arm and a leg. And if you don't have a full featured uh, recording D DAW system, Pro Tools, what have you, um, then this is a good workaround and this program Audacity is free. It downloaded in like two minutes, no errors. It recognized my blue Yeti and my onboard sound card for playback through my computer speakers and it's great. So there's my first YouTube on a workaround for overdubbing with Audacity. Thanks and have a great day.